Okay, here we go. Uh, iRacing Formula IRF4 at um, Alton Park. It's a tough, tough track. And um, we're in the top split. And we didn't do too good in qualifying, I would say. Uh, I never got a clean lap in. Uh, this track is really, really tough. There's a lot of... Um, off tracks um, it's just a very very difficult track as you'll see during the race um, please stick around till the end of the race because uh, something happens right on the last corner it's another famous pappy gaming finish um, it seems to always be drama at the end with me i wish i could just uh have a race where i'm just relaxed all the way to the end but i don't know if that ever happens in racing um, it certainly doesn't happen with me. But um, you can see we have Durante Castillo in front of us. Um, and we got, you know, the first drivers are 3.3, 2.8, 3.7, 2.9, 3.1. So there's a lot of good drivers in this field. Um, I'm, I'm the 15 car, but I feel like the 20th car. Um, I'm starting P20, so I'm starting dead last. And I'm sure we'll be getting underway any second. Uh, Alton Park is tough. P20, P20 Here we go. So the lights are up. Get the engine revving, red light, green lights. And here we go. Now, as usual, I'm just trying to get through this uh, first lap. You know, I'm trying to get through it without any problems. So I'm gonna sit back. We had a guy pull over right off the bat and gave us a space. I guess he's probably in this for the safety rating. Uh, I think that was, um, I think it was Spencer Taylor. I'm not sure. And here we go. We're into this first corner, which is always trouble on this track, because there you go. Crash in front. And we're trying to get through. We get a little bump there. We managed to get through about one, two, three, four, I think five cars there. <laughs> so... By hanging back a little, assessing what's going on, we know that first uh, hairpin is brutal. We know it. So, um, yeah, we're just uh, trying our best to stay out of trouble. That's all we're doing. This is a really tough section here, right there. Man, that is hard. I think it's the hardest section on the track. Um, the whole track will kill you. And there's another one off to the right. That's Paul Wilkins. He's gone. And we got to see where we are. We don't know where we are. We started dead last. And another one off to the right. That's Sam uh, Vanolist. And here we go. We cross. And another yellow flag. P11. <laughs> So we gained nine spots. Look at that, a little off track. We weren't even outside the white line with our right tire. These off tracks on this track are a little ridiculous. Like right here, if you touch that white line, you're off track. It's crazy. <clears throat> Usually you can put about half your car off track. Tough braking zone there. You really got to get it slowed down, you know, from going full blast. And I think we're P10 now. I think we're one lap. What are we? One lap into the race. We're on lap two. And I think we gained 10 spots. So that just goes to show you, you know, people just don't, they, they, their lack of patience and their lack of, you know, letting the car settle, um, trying to fight too early. You can't win the lap on the first race, guys. You can't. But you can lose it on the first race, or first lap. Now we got a guy closing in on us, Samuel Hayabreto. That's quite the name. We defend a little bit. But 
we know he's a 2.9k drive and this is what i talk about all the time and i let him go he's a faster driver than me he's 2.9 you can see me let off the throttle i'm not fighting him i'm going to try to fall in behind him see if i can stay with him and you know use the tactic of trying to hunt people down but chances are he's a much faster driver than me you know he's two point, he's almost 3k driver I don't think I can uh, keep up with him but I'm gonna try you know if I can you know maybe I can get a couple spots yellow flag another yellow flag I don't know what that one was but I don't see anything up ahead so maybe it was just a blinker or something we're trying to stay with Samuel the best we can <clears throat> Coming down into this really tricky section that I really struggled with. I got better as the race went along. I think I did really well there, actually. That was pretty good for me. And any mistakes with these guys when you're in the top split, any mistakes, and they're gone. See, I just had to let off there. And look, he's gaining, he just gained a tenth on me. Oh, one hundredth, I'm sorry. And here we go. So now we're 0.07 behind him. We were at 0.03. See, we're just, we just can't stay with him. The guy behind us, Javier, is three seconds behind, so we don't have to worry about him right now. Our main goal is just to try to stay with these guys in front. And I feel like maybe I'm a little out of my league in this split, but, you know, if I can finish a top 10 in the top split, um, I guess I'll take that. And my, my train of thought is this. If I'm going up in class and I'm just not good enough to keep up, what I'm going to do is I'll get a coach and I'll take some lessons. And I'll try to find out where I'm losing those tenths or one hundredths. I have a guy that I took a lesson off of recently that I really liked and it helped me a ton. So maybe I'll talk to him and put his name in the description. Uh, he's really good. I took some lessons before earlier on when I was in iRacing and I never felt like the guys were that good because I teach for a living and I can tell. And this guy's good. This guy's a teacher. You can tell. So I will um, get his info. Talk to him first. I wouldn't do it without talking to him. I'll put it in uh, descriptions of my videos. And I guarantee if you take a lesson, this guy will help you improve. In any game you play. Any racing game. He taught me so much. So I'm going to go back, uh, now that I'm in top splits, I'm going to go back and try to figure out why the guys that are that I'm racing against that are at the front are just so much faster than me. You can see I did a 25-7 there. I'm, not, I'm only uh, 7 tenths off. That's not that bad. Still hanging around in 10th place. The guys in front are opening up a little gap, but they're starting to scrap a little bit. You can see Samuel just got by Durante, and I'm hoping they fight it out for a few laps. I had to really lift there. That that you get you get um. You get a little push there, you get a little understeer there, and boy, you can go right into that grass and it's see you later. Ooh, you can see how, how I'm struggling to hold on to this car at this speed. Yeah, I am working hard, I'll tell you right now.
And I can send my coach a video of this race and he'll analyze it for me. You know? And tell me where I'm, you know, where I'm going slow. Which is really helpful, I think. And, and how to fix it. I don't usually go into races uh, willy-nilly. You know, I don't go in and just get in the lobby and go. I usually practice a few days first. I try to get really comfortable on the track. And then usually I'll do a race against the AI on the track. Um, sometimes more than one. Um, if I find I'm crashing against the AI and I can't make passes, the good, the good reason I practice against the AI is um, the AI will race you tough, and you got to pass. You got to learn to pass. And you you got to use alternate lines and practicing against the AI is um, is really helpful. Uh, I got the AI sent I uh, set I think to pro or fast. I'm not sure, but it's uh, really tough for me to stay with them. So I'm usually in the back, and I usually have to fight my way through. So that's. Um, that's how I like to do it. That's how I practice. Maybe I'll make a video on that someday. As you can see, the guys in front of me are two seconds up now. And Javier is starting to close on me. He's 2.5 behind. So I know that, um, you know, I got quite a few laps left. I think we're not even halfway yet. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. We're halfway. Halfway. So this should be interesting. This is a tough little corner here. You get that rise where you just lose all your grip going over that hill. You have to be really careful there. Off track there. See, I'm trying to go as fast as I can go, but man. Yep. And he is, uh, like uh, Jim said, he's railing me in. But the guys up in front. Um, caught a back marker, so as you guys call them in England, back markers. We call them lap cars. Um, so maybe he'll slow them down, I'm not sure. And he let him go. You could see he was, um, he was a gentleman. He just let him go. And then here I didn't understand. I think it was here or maybe on the next lap. Let's see. Maybe somebody slipped up because next thing I knew, oh, well, it might have been the next lap, because the back marker ended up in front of these guys again, you know, somehow, and then they dropped back. I don't know what the hell happened, but he definitely let them go there. And he's staying with them. You could see Durante had some problem there, and the back marker, the back marker got right on his tail. Uh, if any of you raced Oakland Park in this series, let me know um, what you thought. Um, I thought it was extremely difficult. Um, it's funny, sometimes these little tracks that move really fast, uh, they're technical. You know, you get on those bigger ones, like, you know, Red Bull. Well, Red Bull's not that big, but you get on some of the bigger tracks and... They're technical, but it seems like things are spread out more. It seems a little easier. When you're on this track, it seems like, you know, as soon as you get one through, through one corner, the next corner is right on top of you. <clears throat> so, we're hanging in P10. We're on lap nine. See, I messed up that corner. That's going to bring Javier a little closer. Yeah, there it goes. See, see um, the black car of um, Fernando just went, he got really loose there. 
and um, Durante ended up going by him. Yeah, I'm surprised Fernando actually saved that. That looked really dangerous. If you notice, my TV cam isn't up in the corner. I usually have that up, but I don't have it up today because I um, something happens at the end of the race, and I was a little bit flustered, and um, and I just totally screwed up my replay. So. <clears throat> See, now I'm catching Mike. And these two guys in front, look at them. They're still battling. Durante and Fernando, man. They've been battling for like, I don't know, forever, it seems. Look at them. They're side by side again. It's just like lap after lap with these two guys. And there goes uh, Mike. See, now Mike, he's a lap car. But I don't think he wants to go. But I don't think he knows what to do. And that allows me to close in on everybody. <clears throat> Yeah, Mike really didn't want that. He wanted nothing to do. And he pulls over for me. He's a gentleman. He lets me, um, you know, he lets me get by. He's not holding anybody up. Good for him. If you're a back marker, you could learn something there. And now you can see I'm only, you know, I'm within a second of these guys in front. But I messed that up. And there we go. That's going to cost me a second right there. That was really bad. And now Mike's right on my tail. He, the poor guy, he's a back marker. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, everybody in front of me keeps screwing up. We're hanging in there, though. Now Javier's within a second of us, so this is going to be an issue now, coming down to the end of this race. He's right on our tail. You got Fernando and Durante. They've been battling it out the whole race. Those two guys are having a fun race. I should have just recorded their race and showed it to you guys. <laughs> They've been... Those guys have been at it the whole time. They're not messing around. And here we go. Fernando goes really wide there. So can Durante break free now? What's going on? I mean, they, these two guys are pretty closely matched, I would say. make a pretty good corner much better than the last if I had done that the last time I would be right up with these guys and here we go we're getting down down to the end of the race a couple more laps to go I think and you can see we're, we're closing on Fernando and we got Javier right behind us we got Sam Van Nols behind him, about four seconds back. Wow. Just watching this race, I realized, you know, that corner there, man. Must Imagine that corner in real life. It must be frightening. I'm within uh, Fernando's draft, so if he makes a mistake... And you saw Javier. Look, he took a peek there. He took a peek there. He was looking down my inside. <clears throat> he's right on my tail now. He's three one hundredths. I mean, he's right on my tail. Luckily, I made a really good corner there. And now, we're kind of closing on Fernando. I wonder if he gets some damage off track there, but that doesn't hurt us. That's going to help us, actually. And here we go. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. We are right on his tail now. 
we're in this draft and I probably do the stupidest thing I've ever done in racing <laughs> but I go for the pass on the outside into the hottest corner on the track you ready and I make it stick that's I, I, I can't even believe I tried that uh, and that allows uh, Javier to get close to him too and now I'm P9 and I said holy crap you know I'm, I'm P9 I'm going to get a top 10 here you can see those guys really bombing into there and uh, Javier just dive bombed Fernando there that was unbelievable so now Javier is a half a second back and he was pretty aggressive on that corner I didn't see it when I was racing but when I watched the replay he was pretty aggressive and um, yeah so that's not a good sign for me coming into the last lap I'll tell you and here we go coming down to the last final back straight we need to stay in front he's a half a second back we get a good exit uh, I wish they would fight a little, but Fernando has fallen back a half a second. So it's just us now. It's me and uh, Javier for ninth place. I make a good corner, but Javier gets a really good run out of here. He really does. He's three one hundreds behind me. We make this corner. I think we did good there. A little wide there we scrubbed a little speed now we're gonna defend into the last corner so we keep it on the inside Javier's on the outside and bang that's how our race ended Now, I'm going to tell you something. I was going to report him for that, but he did pull over, and he did let me pass him. And I ended up P11, and he was a gentleman at the end, so I didn't report. And here we are, straight the field, 23.58. Got 12 I rating. We lost some safety rating, probably because of that last incident. And I hope you liked it. If you like it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.